If you have a GPS tracker in your phone, that's a great tool for emergencies and for law enforcement that will help you. But what happens when the person tracking you is not law enforcement? Maybe it's a spouse. Maybe it's an ex-boyfriend. I love you, Mom. He can have turned on the GPS locator in your phone without your knowledge. An abusive spouse or a stalker doesn't need high-tech spyware to locate exactly where you are. Cell phone providers have a plan where you can sign up to be to track your family members. And you may know that that's in the fine print of your plan, but you don't ever think that it's going to be used against you. If you're fleeing domestic violence, you may not be thinking, oh, well, you know, he's, you know, set up my cell phone in a way where he can track me. You may not even know that that's something that can happen. Hey, Mom. Yeah, it's me. We're here. We're safe. We have to always remember that technology can be misused and can be used to hurt victims. Being able to understand where something is happening, what it is that's happening, and why it's happening. We really can focus on a problem before it becomes a crisis. With each advancement, we have to look for all the positive benefits of the new reach of technology, as well as manage the downside. I think a surveillance society is not only inevitable and irreversible, I've come to this conclusion it's irresistible. And it's not governments doing it to us, it's us doing it to ourselves. But it does bring up the point that the more data that's available out there, the more transparent the world becomes. And the question is, how do people feel about that?